To KCRA 3 Health Watch now, the vice principal of the Sutter County Elementary School was in a medical spotlight today. KCRA 3's Edie Lambert shows us how the complicated surgery to save his life is now inspiring doctors across Northern California. So how are you feeling? I feel fantastic. A year ago, Josh Abkin was diagnosed with a huge, rare cancer. The sarcoma was pushing into his heart, his lungs, and his stomach, with tentacles reaching into his spine and three ribs. What was thought of as a possible calcium deposit turned into a full-blown malignant tumor that was threatening my life. 37-year-old Abkin was afraid for his family, his two little girls. And as a vice principal of Britton Elementary, he saw his students worry about him. And it was just neat to see the, just the love and tenderness from a group of kids that um, really don't understand what cancer is. After a radical surgery, Abkin is now cancer-free. His surgeon knew it was a risk. It's very intimidating to see the CAT scan images and then to propose a reasonable surgery without killing a 36-year-old. Now Josh Adkins' tumor is being used to train other doctors. At this Mercy conference, his case was presented as an example of what's possible. But would you guess that this is resectable or not? Well, these doctors learned about cutting-edge medical developments. For Abkin, it came down to a surgeon saying, I think I can do it. The desire to help someone uh, really uh, is up to the doctor and that there really are no limits. And that lesson is gratifying for a vice principal who's devoted his career to education. In Sacramento, Edie Lambert, KCRA 3 reports. The Mercy Cancer Institute organizes meetings just like this one today to keep doctors informed on the latest techniques and therapies. One man now has a new appreciation for life after his was nearly cut short. From back pain to major surgery, you'll never believe what was growing inside a local man's back. And it was growing there for nearly a decade, and Josh Abkin is just lucky his chiropractor took that all-important x-ray. This husband and father of two always took care of himself. I was on my bike, biking 10 miles, uh, playing basketball and golfing and just doing everything healthy people would be doing. But even the healthiest of people get back pain every now and then. Until about a year ago, this Chico area vice principal, Josh Abkin, felt back pain too big of a bother to shrug off. Being 36, thinking you just got a, a muscle pull or something, and the doctor has that serious doctor face you see on TV. And they say, oh, well, there's something growing inside of you. And His chiropractor took an x-ray, and what he found growing in Josh's back was so foreign, they literally called it an alien. They didn't really know what was growing inside of me. So they dubbed it Gil. They made shirts and everything. Gil was actually a terrible tumor, about the size of a soccer ball and as hard as a rock. And get this, Gil even had tentacles. My kids are pretty young. They just knew Daddy had a big owie. An owie that was hitting his heart. Your timeline is, is quickly evaporating. It even pushed his lungs out. He kept getting bigger and bigger and nastier and nastier. And smashed his stomach downward. Persisted to a point that it really worried him. The tumor with tentacles, the topic among doctors at Mercy Cancer Institute this weekend. Trying to take out this large cantaloupe-sized tumor uh, that's partially calcified or hard like a rock created a very difficult surgical experience, uh, several hours of surgery to get it out. Lucky for Josh, thoracic surgeon Costanzo de Perna got it out in time. With his life almost cut short, Josh now vows to live it with more passion than most. You're looking through a, a completely different lens, um, really for the rest of your life, just as far as what you're grateful for and what you don't take for granted. After all, you never know what alien may come your way. Sure makes you appreciate every minute you have. Now the doctor will continue those CT PET scans, as they call it, to see if the tuner comes back. But luckily, Josh has been tumor-free for about a year now. Boy, incredible story there, Netta. Teenage births drop.